I recently got this uh, power supply uh, RPS 3005 is a 30 volts and 5 amps mm, uh, I think it uh, the brand as of now it says in India it's called as Metra V mm, uh, nothing uh, nothing special about this model it's just a generic model which is available by different names such as tech power or Q power or a lot of other names so uh, as of uh, the some good feature about this power supply is that we can uh, there is a protection so we, and ev everything is encoder based so even if my kid comes and just turn the knob it will not change the voltage you have to change the voltage you have to like press this and then i can set a certain voltage like 15 volts or so, so that's there but um, I have one more power supply from the same make and that had one good feature is that once I switch on the power supply the power actually doesn't come out or it doesn't generate the output unless I press one more button there. So I can just press that button on and off to just switch off the power supply while this still keeps on running. Now the good part of having such a setup is that when you switch on the power supply for the first time uh, the circuit inside still takes a few maybe microsecond or some some time uh, based on how fast is your op amp and the linear circuit inside it takes certain time uh, before which it can regulate the output so sometimes you get some nasty spike and such spike usually may damage your circuit so uh, what i have done is uh, i have hooked up my oscilloscope here and let's just uh, i'll just turn it off first and i will turn it on and i have already set it up to a um, a trigger mode and let's see if we get any output or not so let's just switch it on yeah uh, as you can see uh, i have set it up to 5 volts uh, and it's really going to uh, 1 2 3 4 5 it goes and set us to 5 volts uh, with a, a nice delayed uh, like you know a, a transient response and it's uh, under damped sorry it's over damped so there is no oscillation nothing there is a small spike here this spike even though if there is a spike my oscilloscope is uh, even though it's 50 megahertz i have hacked it to 100 megahertz so uh, this um, frequency is too high for this oscilloscope to, oscilloscope to capture so even if there is a spike really the spike what matters is the energy content so the time is very small so it really should not bother my circuit because the energy is just too small uh, there is no so overall i'll say that there is no significant um, spike let's do few more trials this trial two you see there is a spike but if you really zoom into that spike you will hardly see any uh, time uh, the time should be let's just zoom into it and you will hardly see any um, you know so the what i'm saying is the energy content is pretty small uh, and the frequency is too high for my oscilloscope to really capture the amplitude so amplitude in the real case the spike could be even higher than this my oscilloscope just cannot capture it because it's bandwidth limited to 100 megahertz but uh, the energy content whatsoever is pretty small so it should not affect uh, my circuit trial 3 yeah still that spike is, is there trial 4 yeah okay so i think i'm 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 fine it's i did not spend a lot of money on this scope overall it's good i measured the other parameters of this oscilloscope uh, the other good part about this uh, sorry about this power supply not the scope is that um, it has a very good resolution and uh, i measured the resolution with a standard uh, multimeter and for both for voltage and current yeah it does differ a lot on the this is the uh, 100 milliamps this is the 10 milliamp this is 1 milliamp I am pretty sure this 1 milliamp and 10 milliamp will have a lot of uh, error in the accuracy and I could confirm it by a multimeter so in that part is fine. The other part is that if I load this power supply the fan speed increases and the noise is there but we just have to live with it. But overall I think I am fine, I am happy with whatever it gives.